Greetings, loved ones. Today we're going to talk about a sensitive matter. We're going to talk about sexual abuse of the elderly. Help us get these messages out. Subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hit the like button and the notification bell, and please share these messages with others. You never know, just by doing so, you could save a life. So what is sexual abuse of the elderly? This refers to any unwanted sexual contact with an older adult. Sexual abuse of the elderly can take many forms, and they include, but are not limited to, sexual intercourse. The first is sexual assault. This is unwanted touching or any other sexual activity, including masturbating in front of an older adult. Then there are unwelcome advances. This is making suggested verbal sexual advances that are unwanted or unwelcome. There's, a cap there's an issue of capacity to consent. Sexual activity with an older adult who does not expressly consent or who does not have the capacity to consent. So why does elder sexual abuse occur? Many cases occur for the very same reasons it occurs in younger people. It happens between strangers or acquaintances wherein a sexual predator criminally violates another person or in an established relationship where one partner forces sexual activity upon another against their will. However, some aspects of sexual abuse are unique. So first, the vulnerable population is targeted. Many victims can have dementia or other conditions that render them vulnerable. They're unable to communicate that they have been sexually assaulted. This may be a reason they are targeted in the first place. Then there are conditions that can result in hypersexuality. Another unique aspect of the sexual abuse of elders are situations in which patients with Alzheimer's disease or related dementias develop heightened sexual urges because of their disease. In community settings, this can be extremely distressing to an older spouse who is trying to take care of such a patient. Then there's patient-to-patient -patient abuse. This occurs in nursing homes or other institutional settings, and it can lead to a sexual assault by one resident on another, since many patients with dementia are typically living close together. So what harm can sexual abuse of the elderly cause? This terrible violence, it has devastating repercussions for older adults. First, there are physical and emotional injuries. Victims of elder sexual abuse can sustain physical and emotional injuries just like younger victims. This includes anxiety, depression, sexually transmitted diseases, pelvic injuries, and more. And the trauma can lead to a decline in function. Sexual assault in frail older people is probably more likely to cause physical and psychological trauma. It can also lead to a decline in function and a decrease in overall well-being. So what can be done to stop elder sexual abuse? This requires believing it can happen. That's the first step. You must believe that it can happen. And we must identify risky people and situations and inquire to determine consent. So first you need to recognize the unfathomable. Recognizing that elder sexual assault actually occurs is the first step. This is unfathomable for many people. Then you need to identify high risk. Identifying high risk individuals both as victims and perpetrators. Identify high risk situations such as when many patients with dementia live together. Never, never, never assume consent. Sometimes sexual assault, in which one or both of the parties has dementia, may be simply dismissed as consensual. And this may not be the case. You need to confirm consent. These situations often require psychiatrists or other mental health experts. They will determine whether one or both parties has the mental capacity to consent to sexual activity. According to the WHO, one in six seniors above 60 years of age will experience abuse. The question is not if you'll encounter a victim of violence. The question before God is, what will you do when you do encounter them? You could be the person who saves a life. You are called. We are all called to be champions for justice. Those who suffer violence, they need to know that those who love them and those who don't even know them will step out and reach out to them to give them the help that they need before it's too late. Help us. 
get these messages out. Please subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hit that like button and hit that notification bell. And please share these messages with others. Just by doing so, you could save a life. If you're a victim of violence, please listen to me. I want you to know that you are valued, you are loved, you're intelligent, and you are beautiful. God does not want you to suffer violence. He wants you to live free from violence and peace and tranquility. There is a way out. It's not your fault. You're not alone. And abuse is not love. If you're a victim of violence, please reach out to somebody today. If you find yourself in a dangerous situation, dial 911 for help. And if you know of a senior suffering violence, tell the authorities. In our next episode, we're going to talk about nursing home abuse. Until then, God bless you.